V. Shanta is an Indian oncologist and the chairperson of Ajar Cancer Institute, Chennai. She is known for making quality and affordable cancer treatment accessible to all patients in her country. She has dedicated herself to the mission of organizing care for cancer patients, study of the disease, research on its prevention and cure, and in developing specialists and scientists in various subspecialties of oncology. Her work has her won several awards, including the Magsaysay Award, Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Vibhushan, the second highest civilian award given by the Government of India. She has been associated with Ajar Cancer Institute since 1955, and has held several positions, including that of the director of the institute between 1980 and 1997. She has served as a member of several national and international committees on health and medicine, including the World Health Organization's Advisory Committee on Health. Topic Early life Shanta was born on of March 1927, at Mylapore, Chennai, in a distinguished Iyer family that included two Nobel laureates, C.V. Raman grand uncle and S. Chandrasekhar uncle. She did her schooling from National Girls High School now P.S. Sivaswamy Higher Secondary School and had always wanted to become a doctor. She completed her graduation MBBS from the Madras Medical College in 1949, DGO in 1952, and MD in Obstetrics and Gynecology in 1955. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career When Dr. Mutulakshmi Reddy set up the Cancer Institute in 1954, Shanta was about to complete her Doctor of Medicine MD. She had got through the Public Service Commission examination and had been posted to the Women and Children Hospital. In the 1940s and 1950s, Indian women who entered the medical profession generally took obstetrics and gynecology, but Shanta wanted to be different. She decided to join the Cancer Institute instead, upsetting many people in her family. The institute began as a small, 12-bed cottage hospital with just a single building, minimal equipment and just two doctors, Shanta and Krishnamurti. For three years she worked as honorary staff after which, the institute offered to pay her 200 rupees per month and residence within the campus. She moved into the campus on 13 April 1955, and has remained there ever since. Through her untiring work in a career spanning several decades, she has helped transform the institute into a state-of-the-art facility and one of national and international repute. She is also a member of the Tamil Nadu State Planning Commission for Health. <laughs> <laughs> Awards Shanta, an elected fellow of the National Academy of Medical Sciences, is a recipient of the Padma Shri Award in 1986, Padma Bhushan, in 2006 and Padma Vibhushan in 2016. She was conferred the Ramon Magsaysay Award in 2005. She dedicated the award to her institute. The award citation is worth quoting to describe aptly Dr. Shanta's service. It reads in part, in an era when specialized medical care in India has become highly commercialized, Dr. Shanda strives to ensure that the institute remains true to its ethos, backquote service to all, its services are free or subsidized for some 60% of its 100,000 annual patients. 87-year-old Shanda still sees patients, still performs surgery, and is still on call 24 hours a day. <laughs> 